let's make chicken cordon bleu. O, di ba? Ang social pakinggan. But I'm sure, alam na ito ng marami sa inyo. So, ang chicken cordon bleu actually is kamag-anak yan ng schnitzel. It's a breaded meat. Pwedeng pork, pwedeng veal, pwedeng chicken, pwedeng beef. No? Popular in Germany, in Austria, and in Switzerland. Ang social, di ba? Pero nung natikman ko yung original na chicken cordon bleu in Switzerland, napansin ko, mas cheesy yung version natin. O, di ba? Maganda talaga na cheesier ang version ninyo. Cheesier yung version <laughs> mo. O, di ba? So, let's prepare it. It's very, very simple. Alam ko po, no, ito, disclaimer. Marami sa inyo marunong nang gumawa nito. This is my simple version na I'm sure, no, baka makatulong din sa inyo. I prepare first a spice mix. This is salt. This is garlic powder. So, pinagsasama-sama ko yan. Salt, garlic powder. This is Spanish paprika. And thyme. Optional yung thyme. You can also use rosemary. Okay. So, this is my spice mix. And then, ang nilalagay ko sa loob ng aking cordon bleu, I have here ham slices. This is pickles. Just the sweet pickles na nabibiling na kabote. And this is string cheese from Euro Rich Foods. Ang gusto ko sa kanya ay ano, hiwa-hiwa na yan. So, hatiin mo na lang sa gitna. No? Kung ayaw mo naman ng string cheese, you can also use cheddar cheese or any easy melting cheese. And then I have here chicken breast filet. Napakasimpleng gawin nitong chicken cordon bleu na to. The first step is, kuha ka ng cling wrap. Okay, just like that. One piece of cling wrap. And then you get your chicken. No? So normally, isang ganito, half of the breast. Isang buong breast, no? Lagay mo dyan sa cling wrap na yan and then you season it with your spice mix. Huwag masyadong generous yung seasoning. Yung sapat lang because, syempre, uh, may iba ka pa namang flavor components na nilalagay. And then cover it again with cling wrap. Sa mga anti-plastic, you can use parchment paper or wax paper. And using yung pinatong mo na cling wrap and a rolling pin, ayan, pukpukin mo lang yan. Oh, di ba? You can also use a mallet. Yung mallet, yung parang martil, yung may tusok-tusok na pang pound ng beef. Ako lang, I find it uh, mas gentle if you use this eh, wala po akong rolling pin. Or you just use any heavy surface that you can find in your kitchen. No? So, you just want to pound it. Ang gusto ko sa rolling pin, ayan, no? Yung pwede mo siyang i... Ano? Ipangpantay din, no? Diba? Bongga. You just uh, pound it in a size na medyo mas malaki dun sa ham and sa cheese. Okay, yung cheese, pwede mo pang hatiin ganyan. See? Okay? Yung ganyang size. And then, take off the plastic na nilagay mo sa ibabaw. You're going to recycle that. You put your ham. You put your cheese. And then, your pickles. Masarap po ang, masarap po ang may pickles. But kung hindi ka mahilig sa pickles... As usual, wag mong lagyan. What you can put also are pimientos. Pwede mong lagyan ng pimientos. And then, isil mo muna yung sides. Okay? Para yung cheese is makulong. Ikulong mo yung cheese dun sa chicken. And then, iikot mo papunta sa'yo. You just roll it like that. Napalaki lang tong cling wrap ko. Pasensya na po. 
And then pagka-roll mo, isiksik mong mabuti using the cling wrap, isil mo na siya. This is how I do the cordon blue. And then this one, ipasok mo sa ref or sa freezer for an hour para mag-set before you put the breading. O, oh, diba? Hindi ka magpapakastress. Let's say, for example, may pa-order ka bukas o sa makalawa, gumawa ka na ng maraming ganito. And then, when you are ready, no, i-bread mo and then saka mo lutuin. Because I don't recommend yung mag-bread-bread ka na. Let's do one more. Yung mag-bread-bread ka na ng marami kasi ang breading po, nagbabago po yung kanyang texture. Yung texture ng crumbs nagiging sagi kapag matagal mong iniwan sa loob ng freezer. No? So, mas maganda yung palaging fresh. So, you get again your chicken breast and then you're going to season it with your spice mix. Eh, kung gusto mo namang salt and pepper lang, ayaw mong sundin itong spice mix ko or may sarili kang Spice mix mo na ginagamit. O yun, push! What I like about the chicken corn on blue, pinapasosyal ko talaga yung puno ng association niya, is it's very easy to make, pero sosyal. ba diba, sosyal? Kaya mahal, siyang, mahal mo siyang maiibenta. Hindi mo siya mahal binibenta dahil mahal ang ingredients. But of course, this is labor of love. Tingnan mo naman, di ba? Nagpupuk-puk-puk-puk ka dito. Oh, yan. Check with the ham. Size of the ham, slightly bigger than the size of the ham. You put your cheese, your pickles. You don't like pickles? It's fine. Ikulong mo yung cheese. Kasi yung cheese ang medyo ano dyan eh. Pagka habang nagpripito ka, tapos lumabas yung cheese. ba diba? yun yung nagko-contaminate nung mantika. And then you roll. Other recipes kasi, yung it's a chop, it's a chopstick tuloy. Ba't na pumasok sa isip ko yung chopstick? Other recipes kasi, di ba, what they will uh, tell you is to use the toothpick. Eh ako po, mula nung nakapanood ako ng video na yung toothpick ba yun, na iwan sa cake, tapos nakadisgrasya, parang takot na takot na ako magsaksak ng mga matutulis sa aking produkto, no? So, I'm going to continue pounding this, and then after that, let's bread. So now, I'm ready to bread. The chicken cordon bleu with accent pa, di ba? So, shall. So, I'm uh, seasoning my breadcrumbs. This is Japanese breadcrumbs or panko. You can also use yung fine breadcrumbs. I think yung sa uh, Switzerland, they use fine breadcrumbs. Also, kung feel mo nasa Switzerland ka, di ba? O di fine breadcrumbs ang gamitin mo. So, just season it with salt and pepper lightly. That's very important because every component of your dish should, should be uh, well seasoned. And this is just eggs. I've beaten some eggs. Ito is for the schnitzel kasi naubusan ako ng ham. So, pinound ko na lang yung natira kong uh, chicken breast. So, one kilo of chicken breast will produce you around eight pieces. 8 to 9 pieces ng chicken cordon blue. So, tanggalin mo siya from the cling wrap. And kung i-refrigerate mo yan overnight, mas mag-firm siya. Diba? Look how nice. And then you just roll it in flour. You shake a bit. You roll it in egg. Beaten egg. Remember the golden rule? Keep one hand clean. O katulad nito, nangati ako. So, nagamit ko siya without any cross-contamination. Kasi tuyo. And then, you roll it in breadcrumbs. Ganun lang. And then, I don't recommend 
deep frying this. So, ito is parang shallow frying lang a, a, ang aking gagawin. Ayan, medyo mainit na yung aking kawali. So, pwede ko na siyang idiretso. Okay, again, I don't recommend... Bakit ko hindi nire-recommend ang deep frying? Kasi baka bumuka yung iyong cordon blue. And I also do not recommend na yung nilagyan mo ng breading is ila, itatago mo sa freezer. Maganda ang... Anything that you will bread, whether it's katsu, whether it's uh, fish, or kahit ano, maganda fresh ang breading. Kasi nagiging sagi nababawasan yung crunchiness nung breading kapag ka uh, nilalagay mo sa ref or sa freezer. Okay? And then the advantage of having one hand dry is, ayan, mabilis magbabrown kasi unang, unang salang. So just be careful. The beauty of doing it uh, this way, yung nakabalot sa cling wrap is, nakokontrol mo yung size. So, pantay-pantay talaga yung size. Because what I've noticed in some cordon blue, parang may times na malaki, may times na maliit. But of course, that would also heavily depend on the size of the chicken. Okay? So, huwag masyadong malakas ang apoy. Hininaan ko siya to make sure na hanggang loob is talagang lutong-luto. Because what you want to avoid is hilaw yung loob ng chicken cordon blue mo. Kaya kailangan tansahin mo yung temperature. Huwag masyadong mainit. Kung i-deep fry mo to, make sure na meron ka nung basket para naka-rest siya. Hindi basta-basta bubo ka. Or if you want to do the traditional way, lagyan mo ng toothpick. Just make sure na before serving it, matatanggal mo yung toothpick, yun ang aking pinaka kinakatakot, no? O, of course, me as a customer, pag nakakita naman ako ng ganon, naiintindihan ko talaga na naiwan. Kaso, ang problema minsan, pag nagmamadaling kumain, ba diba, nakakalimutan na na may toothpick. Just have to rotate it for even cooking. Beautiful. O, oh, diba? Pantay na pantay ang chicken cordon blue ko. Professional, bongga. Of course, this is chicken. So, after working with chicken, please make sure that you will sanitize your hands and your station to prevent cross-contamination. Kung halimbawa naman, panghapunan ito, pwede mo naman i yan sa umaga, ilagay mo lang sa ref. No? What I don't recommend is yung tatagal ng more than overnight. Yung, yung may breading sa loob ng ref. Nang iiba talaga yung texture. I know, paulit-ulit na ako. Pero kasi, katulad ko as a someone na mahilig kumain, alam ko eh, napapansin ko kung yung breading is matagal nang nasa loob ng ref. Iba yung lutong niya. Okay, let's check this. Malapit na po yan. Bebread ko na tong aking schnitzel. O breaded chicken lang yan, pero bumongga pa nga lang, naging schnitzel. Nasa Europe tayo today, kaya nga may accent tayo. We're caught on blue. O ba diba? we're in Europe. Bakit po may tissue? The paper towel will absorb any excess moisture to prevent the breading from becoming saggy. Kasi pag naging saggy yan, or nagkaroon ng extra moisture na hindi naman kailangan sa recipe, Nag-iiba po yung consistency niya. Hindi siya lumulutong ng maganda. Ang moisture na gusto mo lang dyan is the moisture from the meat and from the eggs. Okay? So, I'm going to clear this and then let's continue frying. Magpapalit na din ako ng tong. I'm frying the last batch of the chicken cordon blue. Proud na proud ako kasi pantay-pantay yung laki. Itong isa medyo lumiit lang. O ba diba, nag-diet siguro yung manok. Kaya maliit yung kanyang chicken breast, no? So, let's let's continue frying this. But uh, here, let's prepare the sauce. Eh, ito lang yung classic na sauce ng chicken cordon blue. This is just the bechamel. So, you put butter. 
and flower. Just all-purpose flower. Pasosyalin lang natin ng konti kasi nga nasa Europe tayo. So yung ating bechamel sauce, gawin natin truffle bechamel. So siya, lagyan natin ng truffle salsa from Euro Rich Foods. So I'm cooking the flour and the butter. Bechamel sauce is just white sauce. No? So siya lang ang pangalan. White sauce lang po yan. So uh, butter and flour, you are making the roux. R-O-U-X. So the equal mixture of butter and flour, you cook it until aromatic. You put the fresh milk. And then you keep on mixing it until it thickens. Sa huli ko na ilalagay yung truffle para talagang uh, mangibabaw yung kanyang nice flavor. And then you just season it with some salt. You have to constantly stir this to prevent lumps. Hindi naman po required yung truffle ha. Kung gusto mo lang pabonggahin. Di ba alam ko yung iba sa inyo nag-food tray business. And... The, the common problem is lahat po kami gumagawa na ng chicken cordon bleu. O medyo lagyan mo ng konting sophistication na hindi naman masakit sa budget. ba? Diba? Ayan, pag narinig mo yung tunog na yan, lumalabas yung cheese. So ito, ilalabas ko na to. Mukhang luto na yan. My bechamel sauce is thickening. As you can see, I'm going to season it with some salt. Isa lang ko na yung aking schnitzel. Ah! Ayan, o. Oh. Nako, pasensya na po. Nagulat ako doon. Humiwalay ang chicken. Muntik na lumipad. Ayan, schnitzel. Sabi ng manok, kung ano-ano kasing ginagawa mo sa akin, coral blue, schnitzel, puro mahirap i-pronounce. So, ayan, kumulo na. Turn off the flame. And then you just put your truffle salsa. Pwede ding truffle oil. Mga one tablespoon lang. Oh. Ano to? Ibang level na sauce ng cordon bleu. Sarap po. Sarap po. Lalagyan ko pa ng konting salt. Pwede din namang mayonnaise. Maglagay ka lang ng mayonnaise and konting mustard. Ayan. So palagay ko, pwede ko nang tikman yan. Mmm! Super achieved! Oh, ayan, with pickles. Diba? And look at the cheese. Ay, nako, oh. Look at the cheese. Diba? And look at the layer. Bonggang bongga yung layer. Tikman muna natin without the sauce. Mmm! Bongga yung cheese. Parang kailangan ko ng jacket. Feeling ko nasa Switzerland ako. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Purong puno ako ng keso. Mm. Iba yung nagawa ng pickles. And napabongga talaga siya nung uh, spice mix. Sarap. This is not your usual cordon blue. Ito yung bonggang cordon blue. Mm. And you can see, oh, para siyang ano, parang yung cookies. Yung cookies na may design. Kaya nga, tignan mo, kinakain ko parang cookies, di ba? Kinakain ko parang siyang, parang, anong tawag doon? Uh, yung mga cookies na nakapakete, oh, isa pa, mm. Kulang na lang ilagay ko sa bag. Really so good. Especially the part with the pickles. Ayan, really so good. Baka masunog ko to. Magtampo ang schnitzel. O yan. Hanguin na yan para walang abala sa pagtikim. O, tikman natin yung with pickles and with the bechamel sauce.
gumawa ka na. Now na. Because, ang sarap-sarap. And I'm going to see you in Switzerland. <laughs> okay? So, take care. Happy cooking and enjoy.